I was an English major at Yale, uh, which in retrospect was a really good way to prepare to be a science writer, although I didn't realize it at the time. And my only regret from um, my years as an undergraduate is that I didn't take more classes in science. I would write about evolution because that way I've got four billion years of life at my disposal and I don't think I'd ever get bored of that. I'm not so worried about the further evolution of the human species, I'm just worried about its survival and well-being and uh, I think that um, probably the biggest immediate thing would be global warming because it's going to push the planet into a state that we've never experienced uh, as a civilization. Jurassic Park, where you're actually resurrecting dinosaurs? No, uh, because DNA doesn't survive for tens of millions of years. But what about a passenger pigeon, which was extinct about 100 years ago? Maybe um, you could extract DNA out of passenger pigeon specimens from museums and reconstruct its genome and stick that DNA in a pigeon egg and see what happens. The essence of biology is evolution because everything that's alive has the capacity to evolve. Whether it's a virus or a dinosaur or us, um, we all have what it takes to evolve. It's just baked into our biology. If we clone Neanderthals, I think they'd need human rights. They were clearly capable of some pretty extraordinary uh, thought processes that you know, only we humans have on Earth today. Well, we don't know what other forms of life uh, can exist until we go find it or make it. And there are actually scientists who are trying to do exactly that. Some people have suggested that maybe um, instead of DNA, which has got two strands, you could have genes on one strand, a molecule called RNA. And there have actually been serious scientists who had some really uh, wild alternative ideas. Maybe life could be made of silicon instead of carbon. Uh, we don't know until we go looking. <laughs> the answer is about 20 miles an hour, and that applies to European and African swallows, and there is a very good website here where you can see why. <laughs>